I am Elizabeth LaRoe, also known as Betsy, and I basically have been living in the Red Lodge area since 1988. I'm originally from Massachusetts, but I came out west years ago for a Western adventure, and I've been here ever since. I've been an artist for as long as I can remember. I think that probably um, it really came to um, a point of, of being a career consideration in high school when I had an art instructor who encouraged me. And I think his encouragement was what uh, made me focus on the arts and becoming an art educator. I have been an art teacher teaching everything from kindergarten through collegiate courses um, in various parts of the western United States but every summer was Red Lodge and um, after a career of approximately 39 years my husband and I retired here in about 2008. I love inspiring my students to um, look at the world in a different way and um, I love sharing with them what took me years to uh, learn to see and do and hopefully uh, helping them to not have to spend quite so many years discovering. I'm mainly a watercolor artist. I also work with acrylics and just recently I've started working with uh, oil soluble, water soluble oils. Um, my main focus in the last few years has been to paint on different surfaces than uh, paper, cotton paper, and I have particularly been interested in creating techniques, finishing techniques whereby you do not have to have the barrier of glass um, in front of the work. I think just being in an area like Red Lodge and the scenery is fantastic. I love the um, color, light, and uh, once again, um, opening up hopefully viewers' eyes to seeing the world in a slightly different way. It's perfect because I have running water <laughs> in my room and um, it's not too big, it's not too, too small, I can afford it and it's very exciting to be in an environment where there are other artists. Um, after being a public educator for years, I love walking into the Roosevelt Center, it, it feels like home. Um, having other artists around is uh, stimulating. It's um, wonderful to be able to critique each other's works, to um, think of ways that we can encourage the arts and promote the arts in Red Lodge, and just in general a very um, uh, vibrant place to, to be and to be able to create.